Broncos hit the field here. And we'll take you through their lineup as the game goes on. Corey Pax, a familiar name. This young man, the 19 year old Big Ben. Ben Takura might become a familiar name. All 205 centimetres of him, or six feet nine and 125 kilograms. That's a lot of human in the front row right there. Hi, everybody. Warren Smith along with Greg Alexander and Darcy McDonald to take you through this, this one. Here's the, uh, the Seagulls branding. And again, not too many familiar names. Brandon Wakeham, who was good last week, will have the seven duties. And Gordon Chan come Tom, who's Jamie Humphreys, who played time off the bench last week in the dummy half roll, will be in the halves tonight. And he gets us underway. The kickoff goes down to be taken there by Sione Hopalwadi, famous name in these parts. Chan Kum Tong goes through the hands of Madison and then on to Atasi James, the former Tiger. Short side here, Humphreys out the back for Hodgson who takes them on. They hurt him towards the sideline. He does well in the end to stay just in the field of play. From Brown, Humphreys and now Chan Kum Tong, Dean Madison, and the brother of Ryan Madison, got a taste first grade last year with the Seagulls. Six more tackles here, a restart at set. Back on the inside for Sipley to offload from Madison. Comes back to James. And they'll set themselves with a bit of depth on this right-hand side. Brad Parker, edge forward, playing in the 11 jersey. It's a roll heel feel, and here he is, pouring through a hole, right on cue. Parker scores the opening try for Manly. Oh, that was a lovely ball there from Jamie Humphreys. Turned the ball over up the other end of the field and then they put on a right side shift and jo Jamie Humphreys, beautiful catch and pass there. Dragged in a couple of the... Trying to make it six points to nil. Manly went down last week to the Roosters, so their chances of winning the pre-season challenge as Humphreys converts. Oh, I'd be surprised if he stays out there, foul Lolo. That was quite an impact, wasn't it? It certainly was. For the moment, he remains on the field as Chan Kum Tong goes through Madison. Humphreys does well into space with Brown. And then on the left-hand side, Lehman scores. Terrific hands. Humphreys going to the line, holding it up and putting Brown into space. It also contained a bit of footwork. Just watch the right foot step just to get on the outside, then straighten up and draw in the centre, Hoyter, that was terrific. You, you, you almost can't make contact. Well, what has to happen is the kicker cannot go to the ground. You, you, you nearly have to hold him up. If you get there and he looks like he's going to fall, you catch him and hold him there. And the Broncos off the back of it. Have it here. Fall, stepping off the right foot. Gets across the line and in trying to plant it down, he went very close. He has. He scored. Kurt Falls responds for the Broncos. They're on the board at 10 points to four. Chan Kum Tong also tries to bring the half back down, but not able to do it. <laughs> 2014, 10 years ago, hard to believe. Here's Josh Rogers from right in front. Makes it a four-point game, 10-6 it is, the Manly Seagulls. Manly have one more. Humphreys from dummy half. Wakeham out the back foul, Lolo oh, nice. in behind Parker. They'll plant it down for Watson Haleta, but this will come back for an obstruction play. It's an old-fashioned shepherd, as called by Grant Atkins. Brad Parker lead runner. Brad Parker lead runner. Brandon Wing at the run of Brad Parker. Really Brad Parker up. runs to the outside shoulder of the Broncos defender, denying the opportunity to slide across and defend. We have well, a decision. Clay Clayton Fowlolo did a good job, but uh, he certainly got some help from Brad Parker on the inside. Denied the, the Brisbane Bronco defender any chance to come across. To play in the state challenge. Successful there as well as side tower. Inside the 10, we'll play it. Underneath the almost the arches of the Bob Fulton stand, from Falls are coming across to Hoyter here. Plays it quickly enough. Moser goes flat, arch their way back towards 
the uprights. Good tackle there on Cooper Page Wilson. Moser, short ball, and they're in. Crash ball for Kololo Saitawa, and they've leveled things up at 10 points apiece. Well, he's short, but he's very strong, Saitawa, and we've seen him. He was the man that put the grubber kick in to get the repeat set. Diaz, who was the marker. So he holds him up, and that takes him out of play, and then there's just two defenders. Secure himself a deal elsewhere in the NRL, or as we said in the Super League, then there'll be a chance for Saitawa to impress and find himself on the fringes. And, and we'll continue to get... They'll, they'll get it out of the game soon. They will. Madison it was. Oh, now, the ball coming back. Saitawa there, plays it for Moser, and they go on a little left side raid. Good kick at the line. A chance reaching out to plant it down for Sione Hopawati. Just before the halftime siren, a Hopawati scoring at famous Brookvale. Well, that was a very clever kick there, and it looked like Faulolo was going to be well, too good and too quick. It looked like he had a swing at it, and here it is. It's Moser out of dummy half. Down that short side. That's a great kick. Joshua Patston. And oh, I watch, think the watch, the, watch the right hand here as well. Right hand in contact with the mm. ball. The Broncos yeah. player has two hands on the ball. The Manly player illegally kicks the ball out. Oh. And we have no grounding. Oh. It'll be a penalty try for kicking the ball out of the hands of the Broncos ball carrier. It's the preseason, so you can't get... Every, upset, everyone's Brady, but, just but working their way to the kickoff of the real thing. It, everyone. It, that's players, it, officials, everyone. Just, looks like a try. Mm. Walks like a try. I, I, it's I, a try. Yeah. And it's a try for a different reason. Not the, not the one we went with, but um, try nonetheless. I, I thought the, the angle from the other side of the field across the try line showed that yes. the hand never came off the ball. Uh, anyway, the Broncos secure the four points through a penalty try so kick from in front here's the angle we're talking about and i thought this just said try try that there it is uh, yeah penalty try regulation try it's a try all the same and of course the advantage is because it's a penalty try the conversion attempt from right in front is good from josh rogers and the Broncos, uh, with that bouncing and the touch from Manly, the Broncos now get a centre field scrum and a great opportunity for them. A real gift here in search of a fourth try. Five tries for a bonus point. Here's Heiter. He digs and gets there. There is try number four. They're ticking off all the various categories they need for the full 15 points. Up for grabs tonight between these two teams. Head of the Roosters on top of the pre-season challenge table. A scrum win off the back of a mistake from the kickoff in the second half. And Hoyter does the rest. And, and that's how easy it can happen. Deloise Hoyter off the back of the scrum win. Kurt Falls out the back there. Joseph Tomane coming through and then gets on the outside of his centre. Is able to hold him off with a good palm. That's Cameron Brown. Fend right in the face comes again, but too late. Momentum carries him into the in goal area, and it was because of this complacency, not thinking. It's important. Position yourself properly from a kickoff. Get to the ball. Otherwise, you find yourself in this sort of situation a missed tackle, and you give up four points, possibly six. Not a lot of first grade experience. Yes. I'm going short all the time. Her falls is on the same page as you. It's a very good kick as well. There was a blocker there who took down Ethan Kai Ward. Play on is the call. And he's run into a manly potential catcher. Play on. Here's Toff Sipley. Big bodies colliding there. Bailey Butler helping out over the top from the Broncos. From Humphreys to the left-hand side. They've got them. They unpicked them. Some sweet hands again. Max Lehman has his second for the night. Well, they get the result off the line dropout. The chaser there could have easily been penalised. And a beautiful ball out in this set of six. 
Corey Panks is back out there. The dummy half wrong. Blake Moser, breather for the moment. Moser stays on the field though, playing the halves on the left hand side. Now Kurt falls. So Moser out there looking after five eighth rolls with Josh Rogers. And his four is going backwards though. And a strong tackle made there by Atasi James to Kura. Looking for a quick play the ball. Searches for the ground. Finds it as Pates jumps out from dummy half. Bailey Butler charging hard. He's gone close. And in the end, Condon was underneath him. They dive from dummy half, and it's Corey Pakes. He gets try number five and line break number five. So two bonus points there should the Broncos go on to win this two one. With Blake Moser pushing out to the halves. Yep, man on the ground. Bailey Hodgson at the same time here at the Broncos. It's all hands two for them. Conversion is good. He makes it 28 points to 14. That he brings to the table. Good out ball here by Rogers. Chloe Ward goes back on the inside through the hands of Patston. Falls. Here's Hoppawati. Back to Kirk Falls. Another Brisbane Broncos try. A terrific play from the number seven for the Broncos. Pakes out of dummy half, quick offload, nice ball, little touch there. Kai Ward did a, a job to keep it alive, then falls wrapping around back down the short side. Great play between him and his winger, Sione Hopawadi. He touched the ball three times in that movement. Kurt falls. Tries all his. And extends the lead here at Brookvale Oval. You mentioned the Kai Ward offload, number seven for the Broncos. Now within three, I'm getting the full three bonus points plus the 12 points for the win in the pre-season challenge. So does Matt Ballin send out a message? Sorry, you won't mind you busting into the coach's box, Brandy, saying it's been done offload, before. Matty, <laughs> offload. <laughs> Rogers converts 34 points to 14. Finds Paxton. Play it on the last, just outside the ten. They need some offloads. Goes from Rogers. The score. Perhaps they didn't really need to score right there. They needed more offloads. With the Broncos last week as well, they picked their and many of the players that are in Vegas now. Scores a try. Very impressive on the left edge. Josh Paxton. Rogers. Bends it back over the black dot, and the points keep on coming. Good stop. They're back at the 20. Paolalo on the second play. Rubbers. Nobody knew it was coming. Caleb Navali. He reaches out, and he thinks he scored. Grant coming Atkins, on the team. other hand. We've got a no he try. disagrees and Will says on the way in any no try. And then if, there's a grounding from there, if he hasn't scored, the Broncos will get it from their 20 Oops. with the 61 seconds remaining. Yeah, Navali's reactions after yeah, just looking he immediately went for the ball. On the kicker. Well, no, he just ran into a, a group of defenders there. I don't think anyone really... Unless it was Austin Diaz who stepped back in. Well... The Brisbane defenders just hold their ground. There is no interference on the kicker. And does he get there, Navali? I I'm going to say no was from his initial reaction because he didn't look excited. He put his hand up. No, no, no. no Manly no, player touch touches the ball with his arm and knocks the ball on in goal. We have a decision. Swing and a miss by Deloise Hoyter and just there, boys. Navali. Navali. So... The Broncos have it here. 61 seconds remaining from their 20, it's and they need sure. getting 15 points total. They'll finish with 14 from tonight's effort. But a second win in the pre-season challenge for the Broncos tonight here at Four Pines Park. Too good for the Seagulls. They've beaten them comprehensively, as it turns out. 40 points to 14.